Hello guys and welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. Today what I'm going to cover is basically the spawn groups for structures and I'm going to cover basically how the spawn groups uh, actually work and stuff like that. So the only couple conditions that I have for the this particular structure is that it needs to spawn in the surface which won't actually have any effect on the spawn groups at all. And the other thing that we are um, actually testing for is if the block underneath where it's going to be spawning is a grass block. So it's basically running it at the grass block and then it's offsetting it by one above. So there has to be a grass block here. This will actually affect the spawn conditions or the spawn group size for it actually spawning so keep that in mind if you run additional conditions and they can also have an effect on if the um, structure spawn size the spawn group actually has enough space and stuff like that depending on how you set it up so these two things here are for sure going to have certain conditions where um, things might not spawn the total amount of 16 by 16. I'll show you in just a second. So there is a minimum size, which is this one right here, and there is a maximum size right here. Uh, the frequency, obviously, when you're doing the spawn groups and stuff will vary depending on what you set your probability for your structure to spawn, but it'll try to spawn up to 16 in a wherever the structure does spawn so we'll try to group them together um, let's go in game now and we will take a quick look at a couple examples that I have set up in from basically just flying around the world and I found a couple good indications where these conditions down here are basically taken into play so I'll just boot up the world and then I'll cut back in all right, so as our condition basically is set, um, we have 16 structures that are going to try to spawn. That doesn't mean that all of them will. Uh, this is, of course, based on where they're spawning and other conditions as well. Uh, these ones need to actually spawn on grass, so they have basically found grass and spawned a whole bunch. Uh, you can probably notice that this is the actual structure, so we can kind of count a 3x3 three three area and kind of figure out how many of these are in this particular place. So there's one, two, and then there's three right here, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So there's thirteen of these cubes in this particular spawn group. Doesn't mean that all of them spawned, obviously we set it to 16 and 16, but a few couldn't spawn due to certain conditions that probably um, could have been the flowers being in the way or something like that where it tried to spawn it but couldn't. So that's that. Uh, another good example over here is these four blocks or structures that we basically spawned in. They all found grass that they could spawn on, but under certain conditions, the rest of them didn't spawn because of the snow layer because it's the closest thing to the surface so that's basically what happened there uh, they spawned on the grass and they couldn't basically spawn the rest because of the snow layer in this particular area if we fly around we'll see other groups and stuff like that and they'll all be different in numbers so this one by the looks of it has just a few of them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's only seven in this one. There was some stone and stuff around, so uh, some water as well. So that probably had a part where the condition couldn't spawn. So yeah, basically things in the environment will affect the spawn group of what will actually spawn and stuff like that. If you have extra conditions like um, the grass and additional conditions for spawning the structure so they don't end up floating like this then that's also going to impact the amount that actually spawns in a specific area so uh, you could use the advanced script that I made and this would lower the amount a little bit for what could spawn but you could actually spawn a few more in that particular area without them floating so that would work um, 
Yeah, so I'll show you another example. Let's go back into M Creator. We'll close up M Minecraft and we'll do uh, just a quick script that I set up to kind of fix the floating issue. Hopefully that will actually work. So I'll just select the condition and I am going to just run it on the grass. I'm going to keep it like that. The condition itself is basically going to... Um, Actually, we should probably change this just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just create a basic logic statement. So I'm just going to say can't spawn. And then we're going to set this as logic. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just set that there, set that true. And then I want to basically break out of the loop because I noticed there was a little bit of problems with it still floating. So I'm just going to fix that quickly. And then I want to basically test for that, whoop, not that, uh, test for the conditions. So I want the if statement, put that here. I want to test for the variable if it is true. And then we're going to break out the lo that loop right away. And then if it is true, then what we want to do is we're just going to run return false if it is true then we're going to return true so we don't need that part so that's basically how we're going to test for it i have some uh variables or pardon me tag a tag that we're using for testing for anything that is flowers um things that you would basically find in the overworld like tall grass and stuff like that so hopefully this will basically work the condition itself is going to test if there is not a grass block underneath in a certain location where it's running and it's also going to test for if there is or the, if there is not a um, anything in that particular tag above the grass so things like air flowers tall grass stuff like that if that's not above then it won't be spawning the structure so either of these return false is going to basically prevent the structure from spawning that's basically what's going on here uh, we're using repeaters to basically say, okay, uh, test for the area relative to the block. And we're just basically making a test for underneath and above or at the level that it's going to be spawning. So that's basically that. Um, we'll keep the grass condition because that would actually be really useful for making sure that it doesn't spawn all over the place. And we'll save that and then we'll boot up the world in a brand new world. And then we'll take a look at the generation uh, for that particular one. Okay, so I'm just currently generating the world and we will take a look at uh, where the structures are spawning, if the condition itself has any impact on the generation. And most likely it will. So we'll just quickly fly around and we'll take a look at some locations. It looks like that one over there has um, some spawning. So as you can see, there's definitely not 16 here. There's only, let's see, six, seven blocks that spawned in that one. Uh, there's a few over there. So this one only has three. So as you can see, the um, conditions for the structure to spawn is a lot less. So if you want more to spawn, now this is with 16 and 16 for the minimum and maximum number. So if you're having a large area for the structure to spawn and stuff, um, for example, if you want a bunch of structures to spawn and you have extra conditions, this will impact the frequency of how many actually get spawned in. So we'll go over here uh, back pretty much, I think, where we were. I'm not sure if this is where we were. No, it's a little bit different. So there's only three here. Uh, well, oh, no, I think this might have been the same location structures didn't spawn in that location though this time because of the snow so there isn't any flat grass there so that's why those ones didn't spawn or they would have and then there were some over here from what i remember as well and it doesn't look like any spawned in that particular location fly over this direction we'll see if we can't find any so as you can see, they're a lot more rare um, in general. So these ones, uh, that one looks like it actually spawned above the uh, train there. I'm not sure why it 
did that. This one got cut off by the, the lake because the lake is actually a generated feature, so that's probably why. Um, let's see if we can't find something else. Somewhere in the swamps, maybe. There's some over here. We'll check that out. This one looks like it spawned on sand, which is interesting. Yeah, so all on sand, that one tried to find a place. So basically, as you can see, it basically generates a random number. So that one only spawned four, five, six of them. So it depends on how many. If you want more structures to spawn, then try to have the number higher. Uh, you might also run into parts where they are spawning inside each other. So if you're creating um, things that require a lot more um, space, for structures like anything other than one single block or trees and stuff like that then you might want to have it spawn multiple structures rather than use the group um, spawn groups uh, because they can actually get put inside they're generally in place for making things like forests and stuff so as you can see like this is very similar to the pattern how this basically is set up your two tree logs would probably be right here and here, or these ones would be here and here. So they're very similar to how the trees are generated. So you could use them for trees and stuff. Uh, that would work really well, but um, I'm not sure if the conditions would actually run the same with the um, each structure because this spawned on sand and there was some floating ones as well. So you might want to keep that in consideration when you're actually spawning your structures in as well but outside of that that's all the time that i have for today if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out